Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Men, and today I wanted to give you an overview and history of the Achilles Tang. The Achilles Tang is a predominantly black fish that has some white on its cheeks, maybe around its eyes, and on its gill flap. The white can be blue on some specimens, and it also has white and blue uh, around the edges of its fins. The most striking feature, though, of the Achilles Tang is that its body is mostly black, except for bright orange tear-shaped area at the base of its tail. This orange is also on its fins, and especially its tail fin. The Achilles Tang grows to about 10 inches in captivity and also in the wild when it's fully grown. Because of this, and because of its active nature, the Achilles Tang needs a very large aquarium. And more so than just gallon or liter size, it needs a very long aquarium because it spends most of its day active, running around the tank looking for algae to, uh, to eat. Because of this, people recommend that you don't keep an Achilles tank unless you have at least a seven foot long tank. And my tank is seven feet long and three feet wide. So my tank has more than enough room to move around in it. The Achilles Tang needs a large tank with lots of flow and water motion. In the wild, they are found in shallow water where they're exposed to tidal currents and wave action, which leads to lots of oxygen in the water and lots of turbulent flow. In your tank, you need to do your best to match these requirements that they, are, that they like in nature so that they are not stressed and have something to do beyond just sit there and be bored. A bored Achilles Tang is definitely going to be an aggressive Achilles Tang. The Achilles Tang is closely related to the powder blue Tang, um, and also the powder brown Tang. These Tangs are, as a group, some of the most aggressive Tangs that you can put into your tank. They are highly territorial in the wild and they're highly territorial in your tank as well, especially against members of their own uh, group of fish, the tangs, and even more so those tangs that I just mentioned. In captivity, Achilles tangs need predominantly an allergy diet. To do this, you can buy nori at the uh, local supermarket or online, and an adult Achilles tang can eat an entire sheet of nori in a single day. So you can clip it onto a uh, a waterproof clip like I've got in my tank or you can also zip tie or not zip tie uh, rubber band it to a piece of PVC or something like that um, or weight it down with a rock and they'll be able to eat it in the tank. If you keep your tank slightly on the cooler side maybe 78 degrees instead of 80 you'll slow down the metabolism of your fish ever so slightly and it will be easier to maintain uh, an Achilles tang in those lower temperatures because it won't need quite as much nutrition as it would in a higher temperature, say 80 or 81 degrees. The Achilles tang was discovered by George Shaw in 1803 and is found all throughout the Pacific Ocean from Mexico almost all the way to Australia. It's not found in Australia though. The type locality that was discovered originally uh, of the Achilles tang is from Hawaii. In 1803, George Shaw gave the Achilles Tang the name uh, Teuthis Achilles, and also the name uh, Hepatus Achilles. I'm not sure why at that time it had two different names. It seems like it is not the most clear way to define a taxonomy, but I couldn't find the original paper to uh, shed some light on why it had those names. And actually, Later on, in 1871, it actually got a third name, um, a whole different species name as well, um, Acan Acanthrius uh, artemis, which at least is the genus that we use today, but not the species name. As you know, it's the Achilles tang after its species name. The genus uh, did stick around since 1873 when Gunther uh, des described that genus, and that's what we use today. George Shaw was born in Buckinghamshire in the UK in 1751 and died in 1813 in London, um, only a few years after his discovery of the Achilles Tang was published. He started his life as a medical doctor and got bored of that and became a botanist and a zoologist. 
He's famous for, say, discovering the platypus and describing it to science in New Zealand. He also discovered numerous species of uh, amphibian and reptile around Europe and indeed the whole world. The figure of Achilles is perhaps one you might be familiar with. You've probably heard of the Achilles heel. The story of Achilles is uh, basically, so he was a, uh, a son of an immortal mother, uh, a god, and a mortal father. He was fighting in battles, uh, which of course I didn't write down the actual battle, but uh, the Trojan Wars you've heard of, he was in those. He killed one of the heroes of the opposing side and then was struck by an arrow shot by a person named Paris who uh, struck him in the heel, hence Achilles' heel. It is said that Achilles' only vulnerable spot was his heel because his immortal mother, when she was uh, taking care of him as a baby, dipped him in the river Styx and it was holding him by his foot. So the river uh, touched his entire body except for his heel because that's where his mother was holding him. And then after that, the rest of his body was impervious to damage except for, of course, the Achilles heel. There are currently 40 different species in the Tang family, Acanthurus. Not sure that's exactly how you pronounce it, but bear with me. They are all found in relatively shallow water. These fish are all herbivores, they all eat algae, and so they are found where algae grows, which is shallow water. A lot of them are in aquariums. They make reasonably good aquarium citizens. They don't bother fish that aren't tangs. They do bother other tangs quite a bit, again, the territorialism, um, but they won't bother your butterfly fish, your clownfish, things like that. Uh, my Achilles tang, of course, accepted because its mortal enemy in my tank is my blue spotted angelfish. Um, but I think that's more a, a factor of that being the only other large fish in my tank right now, rather than it necessarily hating that fish. All tangs, including the Achilles tangs, are called surgeon fish. They're called surgeon fish because they have a sharp barb at their tail, which they can sort of move out into the water and then they'll brush up their tail up against something and slice with these uh, scalpel sharp pieces of bone, hence the name surgeon fish. You'll find sometimes after uh, scuffles in your tank, your other fish will have lacerations on them that are maybe hard to explain. If you have tangs in your tank, they're not so hard to explain because your tang's primary defense when it wants to get rid of something is to slice at it with that scalpel. So I found in my tank even, the blue spotted angelfish every once in a while has cuts on it, which undoubtedly are from the Achilles tang bothering it. The Achilles tang is a member of the Acanthrius uh, Achilles species complex. That's a group of closely related species. Um, there's four members of that complex that are in the wild, and they all hybridize in between uh, each other where their ranges overlap. The four species are, of course, uh, the Achilles tang, the powder brown tang, the powder blue tang, and the white cheek tang. If you look at pictures of those, you'll see they all look relatively similar in body shape. Um, even the way their color is, uh, you know, the colors themselves will be different, but the layout of the colors are very similar. And every once in a while, you'll get a powder blue slash Achilles tang hybrid uh, that will pop up on the market. And of course, these always go for large amounts of money. There is no visual way to tell the difference between a male and female Achilles tang. They only look different during courtship where the male can take on courtship colors the Achilles tang is listed on the red list as a least concerned species. It's both widespread and common where it is found. To that end, it is commonly collected both as a food fish and as an aquarium fish. And in Hawaii, from 2004 to 2006, the overall catch of Achilles tangs in Hawaii for the aquarium trade was 12,399 fish per year. And the retail value of that catch 
uh, wholesale from the collectors was $78.20 per fish. So it's quite a, a big market fish in Hawaii for the aquarium trade. Taken together with the yellow tang, the naso tang, and the orange striped bristletooth tang, the Achilles tang and those other species make up over 90% of the collected uh, fish from the Hawaiian fisheries. Where the Achilles tang is collected, of course, it is less common. And after noticing this, after scientists noticed it in the late 90s, nine different protective areas were established in Hawaii where you could not just take as many fish out of the sea as you want. There's currently uh, a, in legislation a ban overall on taking aquarium fish, but we found that uh, as of 2000 when these nine different areas were established, the fish populations in those areas rebounded. And so because it's a widespread fish, the Achilles tang is, and because it is so uh, easy to recover from population declines it is not listed as threatened and it's a least concerned species in the red list. So I hope that that was interesting. I hope that you got some information that maybe was new to you about Achilles tangs and maybe you'll be able to be a little bit more successful at taking care of them. Overall the Achilles tang is not necessarily a difficult fish to take care of. I would strongly recommend checking out my tank transfer method uh, video of for quarantining these fish. Achilles tangs are susceptible to ick more so than others fish and if you have ick in your tank that's probably the number one way that you're going to end up killing your Achilles tang that you've added. Beyond that provide a diet rich in leafy vegetables. Some people use uh, stewed romaine lettuce, um, I use, just use nori uh, and they'll also eat some meaty foods like mysis shrimp and other things like that that you might feed your other fish. Uh, and then have a lot of flow in your tank. I have four MP40s on my tank to, to make sure that everything is moving quite a bit. And my Achilles tang has been doing fine for um, over two years now. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm happy to answer any questions down below in the comments. Um, let me know what you thought and I will see you next time. Bye.